I'm here to to take the easy way because if I take the easy way, then I'm not gonna feel like I'm not gonna feel satisfied. Yeah, I want to know I did something. There you go. Even even with the opponents, you know, sometimes us as boxing fans or media like to compare and contrast. Like, okay, you know, Virgil for Mauricio, he did well, and the Mauricio for Danny previously, and you know, many say Mauricio did good against Danny. And then the same thing with uh, Samuel Vargas. He had experience. I think he fought Danny. He fought Amir Khan not too long ago. So that was also a little good of, in the mix, right? To compare how you evaluate yourself with the other champions, right? Yeah. Um, do you feel like that's the route to go to? So people, people could keep talking, okay, yeah, Virgil's a troop. Like, he's coming. Like, he's going to be champion soon. Or what do you think? Yeah, I think that's uh, that's one of the many routes that we can take uh, just to to fight these other opponents that have fought the same kind of competition that I will be fighting later Uh it gives the people kind of a standpoint, you know, kind of like a gauge to where, where I'm at. And I mean, like, like I said, you know, I, I stopped Mauricio, uh, Danny couldn't do it. You know, people can say he was older, but really, even though he was older, uh, he was training hard for that fight. And uh, it's not like we went like not even three rounds. There's the conditioning, you know, that's really towards like the past, like the six, you can't really say nothing about that. Um, you know, I just I used my head for that fight. It's not even that I overpowered him. Like you saw me, like yeah. I was backing him. I mean, I was backing him up, but it wasn't like I was muscling him out or anything like that. So I don't think H had to deal with the fact of it. I just outsmarted him. I I knew what he was open for. Uh, I uh, I set him up and all that stuff. You know what? It's uh everyone has has their you know their weaknesses. They everyone falls for something. Yeah, I'm gonna find that out. Whoever I fight. Yeah. And, and, you know, one thing I also, I, I also see, you know, like even, even now during this quarantine life, right. You yeah. know, everybody wants to talk fighters making their own statements and whatnot. And then, you know, I, I, you know, it's good to know that, you know, fan, fight fans are talking about like the names like yourself, the Devin Haney's, the Shakur Stevenson's, the Tofimo Lopez and whatnot, you know, uh, Tofimo has proved to me that he's fought a, he fought a champion, right. To, uh, yeah. Call me. Oh yeah. De Devin Haney has, you know, he's, he's been in the game for a while too. Like not, a long time, but he's, you know, he started young age and he is where he is today, right? Uh, who else? Shakur is, is on his way too. You know, he became a world champion. He's on his way up. Mm -hmm. uh, Ryan potentially could also be on, on his way up. You know, it's like everybody has, has, a, has a claim to say the next uh, future superstar boxing. Why do you feel like, you know, just Virgil Ortiz? Because I know, like, you're not, a, you're not a person to talk. You let your hands do the talking. As I say, those that move in silence are the ones that are more deadly. Why do you yeah. feel like you're the superstar boxing moving forward? I mean, you know, I don't feel like I'm a superstar right now, or I don't even yeah. think that I'm, like, the brightest uh, prospect that's coming up right now. But I do feel like I probably have the most potential, you know, pretty soon. Uh, I think as I move up, I'm I'm still not going to do any talking. I'm not going to have to do any talking. You know, there's people right now that I already want to fight. I don't have, like, a, a huge star power right now. Like, you know, I'm not, like... I don't show Bo in the ring or, or talk smack or anything like that. I don't. But the thing is, I don't need to do that, and I don't. I don't feel like I. I don't feel like I have to do any of that stuff to reach that status. That's mm, kind of okay. There's a there's a story that I I, I did an interview a couple. Uh, I think a couple a uh, week ago with Rashad Mahdi. We were just talking briefly. You know, I was like, you know, just tell us about your experience in the amateurs, and you know, just tell us, I I overheard it right. You, know, you guys kind of fought like 2012, 2013, and you know, my question with him like, you know rate his power at, at that age you know he was very young at the time he's like he's like that boy could punch he's like imagine during that time he's like imagine now and you know i'm just in my head i'm like you know somebody saying that you at what what age was that when you fought rashad Mahdi, which was 2012 2013 like what 11 12 13 around there uh it was like 2011 so i think we oh. were like 13. so imagine 13 you, they're already saying you're hitting hard at 13 you're what 21 22 now yeah do you feel like I mean everybody knows you got power, but where would you rate your power right now? Like, do you feel like you've reached the, its peak, like a man's fit, or you feel like you're still developing that man, like that? I'm I'm power. getting I'm getting bigger every day, dude. To okay. be honest, I think I'm a cap out like 160, 168 even. So it's it, it can only go higher. Mm. Okay, okay, that was that was that was gonna be my next question because I talked to Shakur too about how did he. Um, you know, with everybody's body being different, you just said 60, 68. Shakur was saying 54, which is, which is, uh, it's a big, it's a big jump to know that you're kind of knowing the next couple of years of, of, of what you're going to fight, right? Yeah. Um, in terms of just, I, I actually, I don't know if you've seen my post, but we was going to do a uh, first ever Instagram fantasy draft picks. With yeah, I saw that. Uh -huh. So 
I know it's a little last minute, but we'll make it interesting. You'll pick five, I'll pick five, but only from the champions bracket. So I'll let you. So we're going to play the roles of the promoters. Virgil, Virgil Ortiz promotions versus <laughs> AD Boxing promotions. All right. So we can only pick from the current world champions. So um, there's only a limit, though. You can't pick more than two champions from the same weight class. Is that fair enough? Okay. So let me let me get – you know what? I'll write it here. All right. Give me a second. Oh, you know what? We'll start it. Who you, so I'll let you choose first. Who you got first? I got uh, Canelo. You got Canelo? All Shakur. right. Shakur. You got Shakur? Uh, the Inui guy? The one that, that fought on there? Oh, Inui? Okay. Inui. There you go. I know I was, I was pronouncing his name wrong this whole time. I didn't <laughs> know how to say it. Yeah. Uh, I got two more. Um, Crawford. You got Crawford. And Jose Ramirez. There you go. AB, AB Jazz, write, write this down. He said Canelo, Shakur. Um, he said Inoue, Ramirez, and who else is that, bro? Uh, Crawford. Okay, Canelo, Shakur. All right. So, since you said that, I'll go with uh, Demetrius Andre. I'll go with Jojo Diaz. I'll go with uh, – who else am I getting? I'll get mm, – I'll get Devin Haney. I'll get – Gary Russell, and I'll get the, 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 let's see who else am I trying to get. I'll get David Benavides. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you, you, took, you took like two of mine, so now you have me think a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's the beauty yeah, about man. this game, bro. We, we got to, I was telling Janier, we got to, because we're doing like Champions Bracket, Rising Stars, Contenders, and like we're trying to add women too, you know, just oh, to make it fair. So yeah. we're trying to make it like a, a limit. So for like Champions, right? Mm -hmm. We was trying to do, I think there's like currently like more than 40 champions, actively world champions. Yeah. So we were trying to break it down to like 12. Only you can only t pick 12 champions from each bracket and shit. So it makes it more interesting. Oh, who's going to get picked or not? But you know what I mean? That, that's what's dope. So that, let me ask you this. What made you choose those lists, or those names right now that you just said? Okay. Canelo, Canelo and Jose Ramirez are my favorite fighters right now. Okay. Um, Shakur, he, there, no one's going to beat him anytime soon. Okay. Crawford, he's he's a uh, really uh he's technical. He he he's a uh, I mean he's a good fighter. No, he's one. He's probably the top pound for pound, maybe. Mm. And some people, some yeah. people this. Uh, who's the other guys? I think I forgot. Oh, anyway, that that dude's a monster. That dude's yeah. a straight beast. There you go. I think I think Rigida's trying to throw it with him, right? Really? Yeah, Rigida, Rigida, yeah. That that that'd be a good fight, dude. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how it plays out. He, this dude, he's he's slick. He's also getting old though. That's the thing. Mm. Um, I don't know, man. When you fought Lomachenko, yeah, that was bad, uh, bro. It was bad. I mean, for him, but man, for everyone watching, man, you just you put on a freaking, you put on a class. It was crazy. I didn't think that he, he would get out class like that. Yeah, good good thing it wasn't on pay per view though, man. I would have been a waste out there, bro. No, for I mean, honestly, I would have been satisfied. Like for me, like. Seeing all that stuff, how he just like kind of just moved him around, and you know, Rigan though he's he's a slick fighter as well, but yeah, Lomachenko just made him look like that was his first time boxing, like, yeah, it was crazy. Hey, what's your reactions towards, um, you know, uh, 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 I think he's like the longest WBC champion actively, Gary Russell, trying to move up to 35, he's trying to jump two weight classes to fight uh, Devin Haney and all them, really, yeah, oh, you know, I think I saw something like that, um. Yeah, I chatted with him about it two weeks ago. No, actually, this was, yeah, two weeks ago we chatted about it. We, I reached out to him and he told me all about it. He said that, you know, nobody wants to fight him at 26 and whatnot. Really? So he's like, I'm just, he's like, I'm moving up to 35. So nobody can make the excuse that, you know, I have a, I have an edge. And he said that basically the fighters that he'll fight at 35 would just have like the physical aspect of the edge. Yeah. To him. So, I mean, isn't that dangerous though? Like two weight classes, at least get some tune ups or not? Nah, what do you think? I mean, it, it could be dangerous, but this dude is also very talented and skilled. Um, Devin is also very talented and skilled. Uh, I'm not sure how big he is. That's the thing. Like, yeah. you know, you can, you can kind of grow into it. You know, I'm pretty sure, you know, his walk around weight is probably heavier than 135. It's just how, how he carries the power with him. Yeah. But I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't like doubt him or anything like that. You know, everyone has a chance. Yeah. And, you know, he's good. So, yeah. yeah. Somebody, some people even say he got like the fastest hands in boxing. And, yeah, and, no, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. And what about um? You know, I was having this conversation the other day. Um, you know, in terms of pound for pound listings, right? Um, everybody, majority of you know, top elite writers and whatnot, they have Lomachenko as either one, two, and three, depending how who you ask, right? 
And, you know, another guy that's, you know, in that generation of your gap, right? In the generation, you have Teofimo Lopez, a current world champion. Um, you know, as a young fighter, being put in that pressure, um, in that situation, I mean, can, can create a lot of pressure. It could make or break a fighter. My question to you is, if he beats Lomachenko, is he pound for pound? Or if he loses, does that damage his confidence moving forward? You're talking about Russell? No, uh, um, Tofimo Lopez. Oh, uh, Tofimo, my bad. Yeah. No, nah, it's cool. Don't worry. I should have yeah. specified. Um, as far as being pound for pound, uh, I don't think so, but I would I would say that it puts him high on the list. You know, I, I feel like he would have to maybe fight uh, maybe another person just because he fought Kami, right? Kami, yeah, Kami? Richard Kami, yeah. Knock him out, like what, in the first, second round? Um, second round, yeah, that was. That, 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 it was fast. Uh, as far as beating Lomachenko, I think that that would jump him up to like three or four automatically, mm. top yeah. five at, at the minimum. Um, but no, for sure, like. I mean, I don't know how how else to say it. You know, he to beat someone like Lomachenko and at young as young as he is, that that's really saying something. Mm. So it's I, I don't know, and you can only go up from there too. So he could potentially be become like the pound for pound if if he uh, beats him too. So yeah, that that is so true because like I was saying, like I mean, for me from a perspective, I'm a young right. I'm a, I'm I'm new in this game. Like I'm young too, so I'm thinking to me. Like for me, if I was to lose, and like a name like Lomachenko in that in, in the game right now is a like huge. He's a recognizable name. You lose to him, it reminds me kind of like when Canelo fought Mayweather back in the day. You remember how, um, you know, Floyd beat him, whatever. He took him to school, but then it seems like people were starting to criticize Canelo. Look at him now; he just gets better and better and better. So that's what I meant by like you know, with Tofino, even if he loses, there shouldn't be no shame because he's just gonna get better from it, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, he uses to freaking Lomachenko and what. Uh... The females twenty two or something like that. So yeah, you know it's it's props to him taking that challenge that early, uh, that young. But I I still think that he he has a pretty good chance of beating them. Mm, okay, okay. What do you think about Pacquiao still in the game, man? At forty one, forty two, fighting at highly level. He's crazy, but he's also a legend. So you know he he can do that. He's one of the only people that can do that. Yeah. Um, now he's still up there. You know he beat Thurman uh, recently. So. No, you can't. You can't uh, doubt him. You, you, you just can't. He's you know, Pacquiao. You know, he's, yeah. he's Pacquiao. There you go. Just you know, in terms in terms of you know boxing, they always say um, you know it, it styles makes fight, right? So how yeah. your style and a Pacquiao styles like you know just imagine visualize it. How would that how would it go down? You and, and Pacquiao. I think that it would it would be kind of a not a messy fight, but it would kind of be awkward at first. Because, you know, he, he's a southpaw. But at the same time, you know, he's a little shorter. He's going to have to come inside. So I don't think that he's going to be using his distance too much or nothing like that. I think there'll be a lot of inside fighting. So, mm. But I think both of us would have to be careful because, you know, he, he hits pretty hard and I, I can hit pretty hard. So it's mm -hmm. just uh, I think that fight ends in a knockout. Mm. One way and the other? Like, depending who lands? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. I, I've been, you know what's funny? I had a lot of people from the East Coast always commenting. And they're like, yo, you should ask uh, Virgil this question. What are you asking? But I don't know if you heard of Jer Jerron Ennis. I'm just going to ask it anyways. People people are asking me about it crazy. Jerron Ennis, you, I mean, have you have you ever spoke about it between you and him? Like, I mean, like fighting? I've never spoke to him. Okay. But I've, I have uh, talked to a lot of people. They, you know, everyone asks me about him. I get it about okay. my comments and all that stuff. So I, I'm aware of who he is. Oh, okay. I mean, even even before, you know, I had, I've always, it's always an honor to talk to you with my guys, you know, coming fights in uh, California. You know, you talked about Thurman. You talked about all these other names. And, um, you know, I talked to Austin Trout yesterday. He tells me he's going back to 47. You know, he praises you and the other, and the other walkaways out there. And then, like, you know, I, it's just interesting that, um, how can I say it? You know, what's your impression of Terrence Crawford at 147? And then knowing you, the person that I know you are, you'll take all the challenges. Mm. Is that a fight you would like too? Because I seen Cole Thurman, Danny, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So, how, why do you feel like people don't want to fight? Like, in, in terms of the well, not you, but like other world tours don't want to fight, uh, Terence Crawford. You know, like I feel like game. I feel like some people, uh, like I said, he's really technical sound. Um, he, you know, people like that can be hard to hit, and he's a southpaw. Yeah. You know, he, he's pretty fast himself. He's pretty slick. A lot of people don't like fighting fighters like that. Some people just 
some people don't have the physical capability to make someone else fight like that or they just straight up don't know how uh luckily for me i feel like i i'm big enough i, I can make someone fight i can rough them up if i need to and i also have a a very smart corner behind me that if they need, we need to change something, we can do it right there. If they see something and I don't, then they can advise me. So I, mm. I mean, I think I have a pretty good shot. Mm, okay. I asked, I, I asked you, Cortez, I asked you too, from a scale of one to 10, uh, I guess one being, you know, we, we haven't seen, uh, let's say, for example, one not seeing the best of you, five saying you're in between, and then 10 saying you reach your, your max potential, like you showed all your skills. From one to 10, where do you think you are right now? I think I'm like maybe like a six. You're a six, okay. I think so, what makes you say six? Like, is there anything particular you say? Okay, um, you know, nobody has put me in that situation to go to eight, nine, ten, or yeah, you you could say that. Like, I've I mean, I've only shown shown you guys like six rounds of what I can do. Okay, that's that's funny. I didn't even mean to say six like that, but oh, okay. I've only shown uh, six rounds of what I can do. I haven't fought anyone that has pushed me to my limit. And make me go past that or anything like that. Uh, I haven't, you know, some people say that I don't have good defense. Well, I've never had to use my defense before. Mm. I don't, so it's, that's also something that a lot of people haven't seen before. When I spar, I work on my defense all the time. You know, there's times where I don't get hit. Sometimes where I just, I want to stay on the ropes, just, just keeping them out. You know, I can box too, just, but I, I haven't had to do that yet. Yeah. So... There, there's a lot of things that people haven't seen me do yet, to be honest. Mm. I would, you know what? After saying all that, I would probably bring it down to a four. Oh, so for four, okay, that's, that's fair. That's fair enough. So, so that's why we saw fighters, even Shakur, because I was like, so it takes somebody to take out the best out of you. Yeah. So even with you, you know, the Thurmans, the, the what is it, Danny Garcia, the Crawfords, those you feel like would kind of push you like to that limit, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What what do you think about like in terms of uh, I was seeing the Twitter beef going on with Crawford and Charlo the one at fifty four they're trying to go at it and I think Bob was like that's a realistic fight what do you think about that so, uh, I didn't see anything about that but no that that could be a good fight uh I mean Terrence he, you know he's a little he just moved up to one forty seven I don't I don't know if he could move up to one fifty four or not or they're gonna do some catchway or whatever but. You know that's that's a risky fight for both of them. You know, but mm -hmm. I mean, they're both they're both pretty slick as well. So you know, it it would just come down to like who just makes the smarter decisions. Mm, okay, because I told to Tony Harrison too. I wanted to send my condolences to the Harrison family with his father. Hey, rest, yeah, rest in peace to um his father. Rest he mentioned peace. to me that um he feels like based on what he did to Charlo and based on Terence Crawford's skills, he thinks that Crawford will push him around and beat him easy. Mm -hmm. You know, we know that Crawford got the skills. We just don't know what's what's his physical uh, capabilities at 54. And he, but he said he beats Charlo easy. So I was like, oh wow, I'm surprised. I mean, hey, if he has that confidence, then um, let fight. Let, let's see it. Yeah, yeah. What do you think it's about? Um, I was gonna ask you. What do you think about Andy Ruiz going with uh, Canelo, uh, and his and his uh, trainer? Yeah. Um. I mean, that that could be a pretty smart move. Uh, I don't think he's with Robles anymore. Or at least yeah. that, that's what I heard. Uh, yeah. No. So yeah, he he does need to go somewhere, and I'm pretty sure that that Reynoso can can keep him on track, keep his head straight, you know, no no party or anything like that. And I'm sure, you know, like people like Canelo and all that stuff. You 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 want to be like the best. I'm Canelo doesn't do any of that stuff. You know, he's he's pretty. Uh, I mean, I don't know, I don't know him, but you don't see him like posting on Instagram or Snapchat or anything like that, like going out to party, you know. Throwing out one, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I see, I see. And then in terms of you know, you mentioned Canelo.